Good evening. I'm Lena Wynn in the newsroom. Coming up at the top of the hour on KCAL 9 News at 9. It all starts at 9 o'clock on KCAL 9 News. We'll see you then. Cal State Fullerton President Mildred Garcia is sparking outrage tonight, even before she arrives on campus. At issue, $300,000. That's what the school is spending to renovate her official home, and that's on top of her 10% pay raise. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Wright. Thanks, Dave. Well, the latest battle on Capitol Hill is over student loans. The heated debate is clearly partisan, and it's also getting personal. Yeah, Congress must take action on this issue, or else interest rates for student loans will double just months from now. As Nancy Cordes shows us, that's turned this into political fodder for the presidential campaign. Lena. Today, Reuters is reporting that a three-year Senate investigation found there is almost no evidence that enhanced interrogation techniques on terror suspects actually produce valuable information. But in an exclusive interview with 60 Minutes this Sunday, the CIA spy behind the use of waterboarding and other extreme tactics defended the techniques. Well, we've had an interesting week uh, weather-wise, and it's going to get really interesting if you really like warm weather. Uh, Evelyn Taft is here now with a look at our weekend weather. Evelyn. The economy and jobs are considered the central issues in the upcoming presidential election. Now a new government report indicates the economy is slowing. Anthony Mason shows us what the latest numbers suggest about the country's road to recovery. The presidential, uh, the pre Republican presidential primary is essentially over, but there's still a big issue on the June ballot, Prop 29. It's a big new tax on cigarettes, but there's much more to it than just that. KCAL 9's Grace Lee explains what's at stake. As one uh, political science professor explained it, the debate isn't so much about raising the tobacco tax, but rather whether to vote nearly a billion dollar of tax money to cancer research and anti-tobacco ad campaigns instead of the general fund. A federal jury has just convicted a Somali man of piracy for his role in the hijacking of an American yacht. The incident led to the deaths of two local sailors. Commuters will soon be able to get to the west side on the new Expo light rail line. Former President George W. Bush has joined veterans from around the country for three days of extreme mountain biking. The 100-kilometer warrior ride highlights the bravery and sacrifice of the men and women wounded in Iraq and Afghanistan. KCAL 9's Kendall Lee Bates was there for the first day of the race. Well, the Warrior Ride is part of the George W. Bush Presidential Center's Military Service Initiative. The race ends tomorrow. That will do it for us here on KCAL 9 News at 9. There's more ahead. KCAL 9 News at 10 starts right now.